40 kilometer an hour winds and my work is still standing and it doesn't even look like it's budged I think that's a nice little test considering it's only held up by a few batons you know, the crazy thing is there are so many levels laser levels but nothing nothing is going to be more accurate than Stringline ancient technology This is proper high risk, but this is why I want to put it together. So no choice. Hello mate. Hey! Perfect timing. Is that perfect timing? Yeah, I'm just about to make a mess of this. <laughs> My mate's just turned up with perfect timing, how about that? When I first started doing YouTube, I thought to myself, you know, I've got something to show, I've got something to offer. You've got more followers then, mate. A thousand. Really? Yeah, a thousand three hundred. Sweet ass, mate. Sweet ass. Here we go, then, mate. Oh, what's the hammer? Right, you want to go, you? Yeah, if, if you can give it the eyeball and make sure that end don't drop off. Say that again? Make sure that end don't drop off and give right. this the eyeball as well. So, right, okay. you can put your eyes in two directions at once. Right, hold on. Okay. See what you can do. Help you out. Where's that knot going up? If you lift that end up, yeah. I'll lift this end up. Right, okay, hold on, mate. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, mate. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> so on every one of these posts i've made a housing for the front plate that's going on there but this one was the first one that went in and i was a little uncertain where it was going so so now i've got to fit this plate to the front and this is holding everything across the front holding it together this housing joint is about 15 mil either side. Well, that gives you a pretty decent um, hold on everything. But as I get to the last one, you'll notice that I've the one I just cut out. Now, for some reason, I was not quite in line. Now, yeah, it's only about a mil or two out, but I always make a fuss about that mil or two seems to drive I seem to drive myself nuts over that kind of thing this front plate is nicely fixed with the timber locks 150 mil timber locks six by 150 mil now, it would be a bit more showy to put huge stainless steel coach bolts through, but actually these ones are a little bit more subtle. They don't actually stick out. And for some reason or other, they look better. So they're gonna function just as well. I need a little tap, technical tap. So a tiny little flex on that front plate just to bring it down into the housing and that is spot on and at the end of the day this is where we finished everything very very level uh, position all correct everything within millimeter tolerance so I finally got a nice little bit of weather today I think we're beautiful clear skies no rain until about five o'clock but i won't be here then as you know <laughs> so yesterday the job really went really well just as i was about to fit i was just about to fit this you got mates and you know those mates who are really really good and they're the guys like martin who just turn up boom help you out no questions asked in my mind, and the people who work with me, they wouldn't be surprised that I think I can do it by myself. And in my mind, I know I would have got it done by myself. But I was really actually about to make the biggest mess of everything. And literally as I was going to do it, it turned up, my mate Martin turns up and gives me a hand. So that's all good as gold. So today I've got to put two remaining posts on this corner, one here, one for the corner. And then we're on to building the rest of the structure. So right now I'm 
putting this post in the dry assembly position and I want to make sure it's nice and level so when I mark off that front plate I'm not give or take a millimeter I'm not marking out of square I'm just marking extremely accurately where I want to cut So I've got this first time and that does feel good. So now I'm just going to cramp it up, check the measurements and away we go on to the next bit. So this is one of the decking joists running back to front. Now importantly it's got to be it's gotta hold that post in level plumb. Probably not my best cut ever. For some reason or other this one has given me more than enough adjustments to make. God, now I saw it. Whoa about two and a half hours work to get that post in. And the following supporting rail behind it. I'm gonna have a joint on here. And that's gonna be covered by the staircase coming up. I would say it's definitely cup of tea time. Two and a half hours to put an easy post in, you know. It's just crazy, isn't it? It's just crazy how much time it takes. Before I made coffee, I thought, you know what, I'll just slide this board in. But guess what? I've got it halfway in and halfway out. Now I can't have a cup of coffee until I've got it all the way down. That joint's just a little bit too snug.
last last structural post. Got a couple more posts to put in. Nice tight, nice tight fit. Crucial measurement. Oh, could do to come over a bit more way. Oh, over a bit that way. Not bad, just need a few bits of adjustment. So this is where I'm going to leave the video. Um, you know, plenty more going on with the project. As you can see, I'm still cracking on with it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.